it's a regular guy. All right. I was out here messing with my body armor, getting an adjustment on it. And I'd had a problem recently with this body armor, just running the plate carrier. Um, some of the other body armors that, you know, you can wrap around or whatnot, you can put the cummerbund, you can get as tight as you want. It does take longer to put on. Uh, that's why I run the plate carrier, just for something quick to be in the trunk of the car. I mean, I do it if you want to. Uh, but on the other hand, I had a problem. Either I had to have this tail on the side had to be long enough. I could grab it and attach it quickly or I had to shorten it because I like it taut on my body and I like it to be tight because if it's if it, this tail is really loose and then it just kind of flops around on you when you're running around so I was like how do I have something that's taut but yet it's still flexible enough that I can reach back and attach it quickly that if I grab the tail I have some pull to it and I can pull it forward so I'm like what can I do I need like a bungee setup or something so that's what I did and I tell you what I'm going to show you how I got it running. If you have any other questions about it, feel free to ask me, but here, take a look at this video. It shows you what I decided to do. All right, so the idea is I've got the bungee cord. I've got the ends that were hooked. I used a, uh, the master lock here and uh, basically just snapped those uh, coils off the ends that were metal. And then I've attached the middle of it here with a couple of zip ties. And then I'm gonna have it pull it just a little bit taller than it should be on the strap. And then I'm gonna run tape over it so it holds it within the strap. And then I'm gonna tighten up the end here and then tie it together so that way I can always adjust it if I need to. This might be an epic fail or it might end up being a, a, a new way to have some more elasticity to your strap to where it holds a tight uh, hold on you but still is strong as well because I wouldn't trust it with just a bungee cord alone. So you need the strap but you also need it to have tension under it all the time. So all right I'm gonna keep messing with it. Uh, I'll come back in a few minutes and we'll show you how our, our progress is going. All right so I've always run the tape around there just to provide some rigidity to the strap right there but now I have this with two zip ties right there and I have several rolls of tape around that, but then I have a knot to where it's adjustable back here and just a little tail of slack. That way, if it loosens up, I can tighten it more or less depending on, on how I want it. And then it will still be able to be flexible, go where I need to, but then it will hold closer to my body if this works out correctly. So let, let's try it out and see. Wow, I can't wait to try out this equipment. I liked it so much, I ended up putting a bungee cord on this left side, the one that always stays connected. That way I can just slip it over my head. Only one side is always undone. The reason I have this side always undone, this is my fire inside here. So this is the side that slips over, reach and grab the tail. And like I said, the bungee cord allows me to slip it forward. And then you saw it, it kind of pulls back again. So I like it. Um, I don't need fancy equipment. I don't need, you know, a $3,000 setup. Sometimes a $1 bungee cord will fix all you need. And there comes a pride from doing things yourself, fixing what you need. Uh, many of you out there come from the military like I have, where you never have what you need. You just have to find a way around it. And you know what? I mean, I think the setup's gonna work pretty good. The bungee seems to be holding. The, the tape gives it a little bit of rigidity like I've always run on the side there. And I think it's gonna be a good setup, but that's a regular guy's opinion. 